Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is server edition of our LZH Project. And today we are going to configure DNS. So what is DNS? DNS is domain name system. And this is a system which helps translate human readable format into machine readable, such as whenever you type a website in your browser, let's say pings.com or google.com, uh, this is human readable. So in order for computers to understand this, they have to convert this into machine readable or IP addresses. And the system which translate these things or convert these things into machine readable and vice versa is called DNS. It's just like if you are visiting a foreign country where the language is totally different from the one which you used to speak. So in order to survive there, you must understand their language or you can hire a translator or interpreter. Without that, it's really going to be difficult for you. So DNS system basically converts names to IP addresses and IP addresses to name. And that's why whenever you type, uh, let's say ping, uh, www.google.com and then it will show you the IP address but make sure that uh, you have your DNS working if your DNS is not working uh, they can only ping to uh, IP addresses but they cannot ping to name addresses for example let's ping to google.com okay right now you can see that uh, it's pinging and it's uh, translating to 173.194.112.176 but what if we don't have our DNS let's say I just go to etcresolve.conf and just I remove this entry okay and if I try to ping this time you can see that it's saying unknown host but if I ping to IP address, it will ping. So this means that DNS is not working right now. But if DNS system C, C restart network, let's say. So DNS is back. We can check. There we have it. So that's how basically DNS works. Okay, DNS is uh, the system and in CentOS we have its daemon called named or named D and the packages which we need to install is bind or Barclay Internet Name Domain. Bind and bind utils. Okay, we can use it by yum-y install bind and bind-utils. Press enter. I already have these packages so I don't need to reinstall them okay then once you have this we have some prerequisites uh, for DNS first thing is date this is really important you need to make sure that your date is correct otherwise you are going to uh, have really hard time configuring DNS so type date press enter my date is correct but for this, what I would suggest is to configure NTP or Network Prime Protocol. So that's why in this video we are going to cover NTP as well. To configure NTP, you will type uh, yum-y install NTP. Press enter. I already have NTP, so that's why I'm not going to reinstall it. Okay, once you have this, you go to its configuration file which is in etcntp.conf press enter and just above this server pool.ntp.org space iburst over here you type your own ntp pool uh, mine is 0.asia.pool.ntp.org and you can search for your pool in google uh, just type your country and uh, you can type um, your NTP pool address and once you have that address you can just enter it just like this okay once it's done you will system CTL restart NTPD 
Okay, then you will check your date and time. If it's correct, then uh, no problem. But if it's not, just make sure you have the correct time zone. And to check the time zone, you'll just type time date CTL. Okay, press enter. And over here, you can see your uh, time zone. If it's not set, you can always set up your time zone by time date CTL set dash time zone then select your uh, for example mine is Asia Almaty and you can press and uh, sorry Asia time date CTL set time zone yeah Almaty it's not Almaty it's Almaty press enter okay and you can just select your own as per your country and time zone okay once it's done press date okay if your date is not set you can always set your date as date dash s in commas type 2015 dash 03 dash the date then space and time let's say i have 01 colon 19 colon 50 okay once it's done press enter well i already have this date so uh, anyway one once it's done you just system ctl restart ntpd and just make sure your date and time is correct Please don't forget this, it's really important in order to configure DNS properly, you have to set these things up. Okay, second thing which is really important it's, is hostname. My hostname is name server and hostname dash FQDN, which is fully qualified domain name is nameserver.itpings.com. How you can set up a hostname? Uh, we have number of ways first is you can just go to etc hostname file over here you can type uh, your hostname then you can define it in etc hosts dot file here is the ip address 192.168.1.10 and this is fqdn name server dot it pings dot com and this is my hostname third is NMTUI uh, network uh, utility press enter and over here set hostname and over here you can set up your hostname and press OK okay then the last one is uh, host name CTL utility and hostname CTL dash dash static and then set dash host name and then the host name press enter and then your host name will be set okay this is these two things are really important so once it's done we can uh, start configuring our uh, dns so let's configure our dns in on in another video for this uh, i will just uh, say this uh, is the end of this video and please do subscribe and thank you for watching